Hi everyone, it's Taylor here today and hooray, it's time for another video. Today I'm going to share with you how I created these hooray cards using several tailored expression supplies. I'll be using the on the block hooray stamp along with the coordinating shadow die to cut those out. And then I'll be using the building blocks well done stamp which has a coordinating die that cuts all 22 of the sentiments at the same time. You'll also want to check out our new simple storage building blocks case to store all of those die cut sentiments together. Then I have the starfall background stamp. I will be doing some embossing so I have my powder tool and white and diamond fine detail embossing powder with Versamark ink. For other inks, I'll be using Oreo on the background, and I chose three different coordinating color combinations. I have Cookie Monster and Blue Raspberry, Lollipop and Strawberry Milkshake, Cilantro, and Granny Smith. For my drip drops, I will be applying the black drip drops with my Embelly Jelly Pick and Place tool and my Tombow Mono Multi Liquid Glue. So let's get started. Here I have the On the Block Hooray stamp with the coordinating die. I'm first going to die cut several of those words just out of sugar cube cardstock. I did this three times so that I have enough to create the three cards that we'll be making in the video. Now we're going to set up the stamp so that I can do my stamping on the die cut pieces. So I'm going to stamp that with the strawberry milkshake onto the grid paper and then line up one of the negative die cut pieces around the outside of the stamped image so that when I place that back inside it is in exactly the right spot. I'll be doing a kissing technique on these so I always want to start with the lightest color in my two color combo. Then I will wash that off, place my star stamp face up over the top of my hooray, and then use the darker color ink, in this case it's the lollipop, close the lid so that the hooray stamp picks up those stars from the background and then stamp it down over the top of the hooray a second time. That's how you get the dual colored stars onto the background. After washing my stamp again, I can continue this with the other color combos. So for the green, I used Granny Smith first, then I'm kissing onto the stamp that's inked with cilantro and placing it back down over my die cut hooray word. So you can see how that one turned out. And last, I'm going to wash my stamp again and we're going to do the teal color combo. So the lighter of the two colors is the Cookie Monster. We'll stamp that first down onto the die cut, place that star background down and ink with the darker blue raspberry, kiss the stamp over the top of that other stamp and then place it down over the cardstock. So now we have three die cut pieces with dual colored stars on them. Next, we're going to stamp the backgrounds for each of the cards using the same starfall background that we used for the kissing technique. I have the Oreo ink and I'm going to stamp that onto the sugar cube cardstock. And then I decided I wanted to give it some shimmer. So I'm actually going to wash that stamp, ink it second time with the Versamark ink, place it down over those black stars that I have applied my powder tool over the top of. And then we're going to emboss with the diamond embossing powder. So after I have placed those stars down, they have Versamark on them and I can sprinkle my diamond embossing powder over the top and then heat that. So the diamond embossing powder is actually a clear embossing powder and it has sparkles built into it. So as it heats, you're going to see the black ink pop through the background and it's just going to give it a nice sparkly tone throughout those stars. So kind of a fun technique to try. It does take a little bit of time because you do need to wash your stamp between applying the Oreo ink and the Versamark. The other two I decided just to do with black ink and skip the embossing. So it depends on if you're mass producing, maybe skip the step of embossing or if you like that extra touch, then go ahead and do the embossed stars in the background. Here I have my Oreo cardstock and I am sprinkling that powder tool over the Oreo cardstock and then stamping that building blocks well done in Versamark ink. I'm going to emboss these this time with white embossing powder and heat that to get a really crisp white on the black. Now you'll notice those alignment squares on the embossed piece. Those are designed to cut with the coordinating die. So we're going to line that up so that they cut perfectly out all of those words. There are 22 different phrases and words that can be combined to create lots of different cards. So it's another great stamp for mass producing. 
So now I have my hooray stamps. I'm arranging those onto my background and popping them up with a little bit of foam tape. And then I can just take those extra sentiments and decide which ones are gonna go with each of the different sentiments. And the cards are pretty much finished at that point. So I'm placing those about a little bit above center and then we can go ahead and take those extra building block sentiments and build our phrases and words. So I'm just going to attach these with my regular scotch adhesive dot roller and I went with yes yay yippee you did it for the first one and then we have hip hip hooray let's celebrate and way to go you are a star for the last one. Now all we need to do is add these onto card bases and I decided on one little extra touch as well. I'm going to be using Oreo card bases so I have my score pal and I have scored those down the center and folded in half and then I've cut a small quarter inch strip of cardstock to coordinate with each of the colors of the hooray and I'm just going to place that down at the bottom of each of the panels. So it just gives it a little bit of an extra touch something unexpected and nice to dress it up just a touch without spending a lot more time on the project. Then I can take those pieces and adhere them down with my scotch adhesive dot roller and the cards will be almost done but I can't leave any card without a few drip drops these days and we have new drip drops this month. Our black enamel drip drops. These are um, just a plain black. We also have one called cosmic drip drops and those have a little bit more of an iridescence to the black. I am placing the adhesive down first, just leaving dots of the Tombow Mono Multi where I want to place those enamel drip drops. And then I'm taking my Belly Jelly Pick and Place tool, picking those up and placing them down over the drops of glue to finish these off with a little bit of dimension. So there you have all three cards finished and ready to go. Thanks so much for tuning in. You can find all of these products at the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com.